Hi, I'm Eddie Bromley, and this is the Book of Revelation in 5 Minutes, Part 12. So in this video, I want to talk about Revelation chapters 4 and chapter 5. Let me start by giving you some background reading. Um, you'll want to go back and read Genesis chapter 9, where Noah and his family get off the ark, and God puts a rainbow in the sky as a covenant between God and creation. You'll want to read Genesis 15, where God makes a covenant with Abraham and Sarah, and look at what that looks like. You'll want to go to Exodus um, chapter 14, for about 20, and watch as God travels with the Israelites and as God and Moses encounter, or, or Moses and the people rather encounter God on the mountain. And take a look at what that looks like. Go to Isaiah chapter 6 and look at Isaiah's uh, encounter with God. Go to the end of the book of Daniel and look at Daniel's encounter with God. Go to the beginning of Ezekiel and look at, at Ezekiel's encounter with God. And that'll give you a, a good background for understanding the language of Revelation chapter 4, which Revelation chapter 4 pushes in the language to its breaking. Here's the essence of Revelation chapter 4. What John sees is God in all of his glory and all of creation. Everything imaginable and things we couldn't imagine surrounding the throne of God and worship God. Everything in the universe is focused on enjoying God's presence and celebrating and what that's immediately going to show us is how odd Earth is by contrast. Earth is focused on all kinds of things other than the glory of God and enjoying God's presence. It's focused on power, money, and, and struggle, and, and, and class warfare, and all kinds of things other than the glory of God and enjoying God's presence. And that's going to be a stark contrast to everything that John begins to talk about as he tells us about the spiritual condition of earth. Then when we get to chapter 5, John sees a vision of a great scroll, a great parchment that has been sealed with seven seals, seven wax seals with the empirical stamp, except instead of that representing Rome's authority, it represents God's authority. And that scroll, that parchment, represents God's plan, God's will, the purpose of life, where history is going, the meaning of human existence. And then John is told, but there's no one in heaven, on earth, under the earth, there's no one in all of creation that's capable of breaking those seals and opening the content of God's will, God's plan, the meaning of life. And so John weeps, he weeps and weeps. Gospel spend more time on that chapter of Jesus' life than 
any other. Almost half the, the Gospels are focused on that one key event because they reveal the character of God and the meaning of history. I'm Eddie Bromley, and we'll, next week or next episode, we'll look at uh, the, the chapters that, that precede chapter 5. We'll begin looking at 6, 7, and 8. And I hope to see you back next time. If you like this content, please give it the thumbs up and be sure to subscribe.